What's up, fight fans? Things just got real in the Tyson Paul saga. If you thought Mike Tyson was going to take it easy in his upcoming fight with Jake Paul, think again. Word just broke out that Iron Mike did what only Tyson can do. He knocked out his sparring partner cold during a training session. Yeah, you heard that right. The baddest man on the planet is still packing that legendary knockout power at 58. And Jake Paul? He's got to be sweating right now. There's a lot to discuss with this one since we're only a couple of weeks away from the mega fight between Tyson and Paul, and Tyson knocking out his sparring partner surely adds more tension to the buildup of this fight. So without further ado, let's dive into it. So we're all excited about the Jake Paul vs. Mike Tyson fight, right? Scheduled for November 15th at the AT&T Stadium in Texas. It's already been dubbed as one of the craziest boxing events of the year. But Tyson isn't treating this fight like some exhibition match. He's going all in. During his latest sparring session, Tyson's team confirmed that he straight up floored his sparring partner with a classic Tyson hook. Like, no holding back. What's wild is that Tyson's training partner was no joke. The guy was experienced, and it wasn't his first time taking shots from heavy hitters. But Tyson's punch still hit like a freight train just like the old days. The gym went dead silent when it happened. Rumors are, even the medics had to step in, though the sparring partner's fine now. Not to mention, when you're sparring, you've got headgears and pads on, and you're fighting with bigger gloves. It's almost impossible to knock someone out cold in those. But hey, when it comes to Mike Tyson, anything is possible. Now let's talk about Jake Paul the YouTube star-turned-boxer who's been building his rep in the boxing scene. Jake's been gassing himself up, thinking he's going to take on a 58-year-old legend like it's light work. But after hearing this news, there's no doubt he's got to be feeling some serious heat. Tyson's a different animal. Even after decades in the game, he's still got that killer instinct and explosiveness. Just imagine stepping into the ring knowing the guy across from you recently knocked out someone in training. Not exactly the kind of pre-fight news Jake wanted to hear. Jake is also giving his all in his sparring sessions, but ain't no way he's out here dropping people in sparring. Jake's been busy training with his own team and throwing some shade on social media. But the reality is setting in. Paul might have youth and stamina on his side, but he's never faced a man like Mike Tyson. It's one thing to fight former UFC fighters and retired athletes, but Tyson? This guy's a whole different beast. And he can even match Jake's level of trash talking, which is a new one for Tyson. You can tell this guy is locked in. I don't know if he's in his prime, he's fat. He should be lean and mean, he's fat and funky. I saw him with his shirt off the other day, he's fat. I thought, did you start training already? Buster Douglas was fat, am I right? I know, but you're no Buster Douglas. He's not gonna win. Look at, he couldn't even knock out Nick Diaz. Nick Diaz is 40 pounds. How's he gonna knock me out? What's the other guy? Anderson Silva, he didn't knock those little guys. How's he gonna knock me out? Who, who did he knock out? Who did he knock out? Little, little children. He didn't knock out, never knocked out a real man. Come on. I can't even get mad at this guy because everybody knows this guy's talking out of his ass. <laughs> and stealing money. <laughs> I'm up here just stealing money fighting him. Well, just come to the fight and you'll see. Listen, listen, I started Jake off and I'm going to finish him. Let's talk about how Mike's been prepping for this fight. Tyson's not just relying on his raw power. He's training like a man possessed. His workouts have been all over social media, and it's a mix of old school grit with modern day tactics. And hey, that peekaboo style is still looking scary. Jake better know how to counter that, or else he's hitting the canvas in the first round. On Jake Paul's side, the dude's been training hard too. But this latest news is a game changer. 
Paul's strength has been his ability to trash talk and get inside his opponent's heads. He did it with Ben Askren, Tyron Woodley, and even Nate Diaz. But Tyson? Nah, you can't mentally mess with a guy who's already seen it all. This isn't some social media beef. This is the guy who's been through real battles, and he's not here for Jake's games. Different date, same fate. I'm gonna knock out Jake Paul. Now, Jake's gotta figure out how to deal with Tyson's power and aggression. His usual strategy of wearing down opponents might not work, especially with Tyson still packing so much punch power. Jake is gonna want to stretch this fight and take it into the later rounds where Tyson's age might catch up. But after hearing about Tyson's knockout in sparring, can Jake even make it that far? That's the real question. So, what does this mean for the fight? For one, it just got way more intense. Tyson's knockout in training has fans buzzing, and it's a clear warning to Jake Paul that this fight isn't going to be the cakewalk he thought it might be. If Jake was underestimating Tyson before, he's probably rethinking that right now. Mike's sending a message. He's not here for clout. He's here to win. There's a reason why experts like Joe Rogan favored Tyson to win this fight despite his age and it's showing. Tyson. Mike Tyson people talk shit too. People are, there's so, certain people that are just crazy, man. Well, speaking of Mike Tyson, this, these people that think that he don't stand a chance against Jake Paul, that like this shouldn't even, like he, cause he's too old. I was like, I think you're, I think you're crazy. Well, they're I, definitely uninformed. Yeah. Because the, the, here's the thing, he is 57 years old. He, he will be 58 when they fight. He, he has had a long fighting career. He, he has been knocked out by massive men like Lennox Lewis and Evander Holyfield. You know, he's, he's had a lot of blows. And, you know, it's yeah. long, you know, long past the time where most people ever fight. Expect Jake's team to be on high alert. They're probably watching Tyson's training videos on repeat, trying to figure out some kind of strategy to deal with the pressure that Iron Mike brings. Jake Paul was initially set to go head to head with Mike Tyson back in July. Picture this, the problem child versus Iron Mike. The rug got yanked out from under us. Tyson had a surprise ulcer flare up on a flight from Miami to LA, forcing the heavyweight legend to pull out. Yeah, Jake wasn't too happy about this. So Jake's left hanging with a massive hole in his fight card. But this dude doesn't mess around. He finds a new opponent, and who does he pick? Mike Perry, the platinum piercing punk. Yeah, you heard me right. From one Mike to another, but totally different vibes. Perry's the face of Bare Knuckle FC, or at least he was before Jake Paul embarrassed him in front of millions. Mike Perry was all bark and no bite. He became a punching bag for Paul in the ring and ended up getting knocked out cold. Yes, Jake Paul looked impressive against Mike Perry when they fought back in July, but make no mistake Mike Tyson is a real threat. He's not some retired MMA fighter. This guy knows boxing like no other, and he's gonna come out looking to end Jake Paul every second of the fight. This fight has made a lot of rounds on the internet and attracted reactions from everyone around the world. Now all the pros have locked in their predictions. Manny Pacquiao believes Jake doesn't have what it takes to beat the one and only Mike Tyson. After watching Tyson knock his sparring out, I'm sure everyone agrees with Manny. Manny, what do you think of Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson? Oh. That fight just got announced. Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. Oh, they're going to fight, huh? Yeah, they're going to fight. Do you think Jake Paul can beat Mike Tyson? I, I don't think so. <laughs> We're about to witness one of the most unpredictable fights in boxing history. On one side, you've got Jake Paul, the young, brash internet sensation who's been winning fights left and right. On the other, you've got Mike Tyson, 
the living legend who's out here knocking out sparring partners like it's 1986 again. This fight is going to be fireworks, and we're all here for it. Jake Paul might have the confidence, but Tyson's got the knockout power. Can Jake survive Iron Mike's punches? Or will Tyson prove that age is just a number? One thing's for sure, Jake's in for the fight of his life, and Tyson's not playing any games. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.